Hi, my name is John Price, Sales and Design Manager at ECD Auto Design. And in today's video, we're going to talk to you about how we transform a Defender with a classic dash into one with a Puma dash. So you will notice that on the classic dash, we have a more simplistic style of um, uh, layout where we have very few buttons and uh, for those trucks that came with AC they will have a unit that was attached to the bottom part right here so again primarily hidden in your knees uh, so again note the most uh, ergonomically friendly uh, and that's the reason why in part of course when the Puma style dashes came out they figure uh, sending those pipes up front will have better ventilation and, and uh, of course a better use altogether. All right, and here's a good example of a finished classic dash. Uh, of course, this is much cleaner than what you saw earlier, uh, but at the same time, you realize, of course, that how simplistic in nature it is. Uh, very limited functionality. Um, the AC vents down below, so that will pretty much hit your knees all the time. Uh, and again, with the Puma Dash, we're gonna go into a more modern styling and also a bit of functions altogether. So here we're with CR, who is one of our master technicians, and he's going to go over the process of getting the bulkhead set up and all of your underpinnings that go into uh, place when you start up uh, building a truck with the Puma Dash. This is the Puma Dash as we get it. It's already been converted from right-hand drive to left-hand drive. We've made modifications to allow for manifolds to clear. After I receive it in this condition, we will install from this point downward fat mat, sound absorbing material. On the corners of the bulkheads, we will install a heat absorbing material to prevent heat from the manifolds transferring into the cab of the vehicle with you. We will then install the Puma style blower box, seal it all up and install it right here. The steering column is next to be installed. The steering columns are refurbished, powder coated, and made to look brand new. We install a new brake pedal brake booster and master cylinder. We'll install a full set of stainless steel brake lines and run them along the firewall and down. We'll install the Puma style heater valve and run its coolant lines along the bottom. And then we will install the bulkhead onto the frame. One of the primary differences between the Puma and plastic styles of bulkheads is the Puma was the first to accept a factory in-dash HVAC unit. On the Puma, this is just a blower motor. It has a motor, it, it controls the fresh air in and out, but that is it. On the Classics, they have their blower motor and heater core are inside together. And if you want an air conditioning unit, it has to be a full underdash unit, which takes up some of your legroom. So now that we saw what CR is doing, pre-installation of the Puma Dash and the bulkhead and all that good stuff. We're gonna go in and talk to our electricians to see all the wiring and intricate parts that go involved in that before the actual full installation of the Puma Dash. So this is all the wiring that will actually go behind a Puma Dash. So just to give you an idea, of course, of all the switches and all the intricate parts that will make it up. And of course, that translates into better functions, button placements, and things of that nature for our clients. Now, I want to talk to you guys um, about all the different elements that go into play, and of course, uh, how this type of uh, dash in general will transform the vehicle into a more user-friendly type of truck. And Buck here, actually, our master electrician, is working right now in the Puma dash wiring. So Buck, what do you think will be the essentials or the, the elements on a uh, Puma dash that, that will really transform the truck? Well, a real quick um, answer would be you've got more ergonomic um, access to the switches. Mm -hmm. um, you've got better AC quality, uh, better vent um, flow. You've got uh, instead of the, just the wart 
that we call the mud pod for radio uh, on the center dash. You got a more uh, sleek looking double den uh, console, so to speak. Um, it's just, I think it also lends itself better to the center console that we use um, that can, you can fit more switches, you can fit your, your uh, wireless charger, um, a little cubby in there just for, right. to keep your, your wallet and, and, and stuff. Um, it just, it, it seems to, from to me, it just seems to flow a lot better then the, the classic dash itself just looks kind of clunky to me. Right. Um, whereas the Puma dash uh, is more aesthetically pleasing in my eyes. Yeah. Uh, I guess a lot of people as well. Because uh, we've seen the. How do you feel about the AC? Puma. Yeah, that's for <laughs> sure. And how do you feel the AC vents to me on the classic look more like an afterthought? You know, like they were never intended well, to be yeah, there. And they kind of off. Yeah. Um, there really wasn't air conditioning figured in to a classic until finally, you know, later on. And then it was just something slung up underneath the dash, um, trying to make it look right. a little better. So but it, it, yeah. it's always <laughs> been an afterthought. Right. So. Yeah, the, the AC on the on the Puma was engineered to be there, right. whereas uh, the one for the Classic was just kind of, uh, okay, somebody wants air conditioning, let's give them this. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. no, absolutely, I would agree, and, and, and uh, also CR back there, touching some of the, the points that uh, Buck has reiterated, and uh, yeah, overall, like you said, it's more aesthetically pleasing, and it gives you the ability, of course, to have that big screen that we put in all of our trucks um, with your touchscreen functions, CarPlay, and all that, backup camera, which again were never uh, originally on the vehicle. But the Puma uh, Dash style allows us to play with those elements and make it more user friendly. All right, guys, and I'm here with Jordan, who is our master technician for final assembly, to tell us a little bit more about the uh, Puma Dash and its benefits. So the Puma Dash comes with a lot of benefits in the fact of the air conditioning. The air conditioning system is more modern, more user configurable. Uh, it gives us a different layout on our gauges. It gives it more of a modern feel to the driver and puts it right up in front of you. The Switches that we put in it are more configurable. We can change however you like it, billet switches or even the factory existing switches. Uh, we can configure it with USBs and regular standard charging points. And it also allows us to move into a more modern console configuration where we can put the GM uh, six-speed shifter and also wireless charging, cup holders of your selection, USBs. We also put our switches for our air ride system your door locks and then can also do Wi-Fi installed in it which also goes in your console. It gives us the option of the high-low shifter and makes it so that you have a high and low range when you're on or off-road. Um, we can elaborate it with different styles of leather, different kinds of stitch patterns. We can do different colors. This is just one example. This customer chose to go with the black interior but we can make it in any way that you'd like. The uh, stereo options, we have multiple ones that go in these and fit in these dashes from being touchscreen to larger monitors from Alpine, Kenwood, uh, Pioneer. And then we also include a TPMS system which is accessible right next to the driver. And then you have your uh, regular switching plus your lighting switches for outside lights, work lights, uh, roll bar lights and even bumper lighting. So you can see the benefits of having something like this versus the more classic dash like we were talking about earlier where you only have an uh, aftermarket look of uh, AC vents down below and then really not room for any switches other than just your dash and your gauges up here on one side. Yeah, and with this console it also allows us to be able to put a mid-row AC unit which standard models don't feature. Um, allows us to put these in there so that your mid-row passengers and even with the 2 plus 2 consoles your rear passengers can have cold air coming directly to them rather than waiting for the vehicle to cool down over time.
Now, this is a great example of the level of customization that you can do in terms of the uh, surface coverings with the Puma Dash versus a classic dash. Um, for instance, in this particular case, we had a client that wanted to have this custom <laughs> textured leather, and you wanted to do that, do that in certain elements of the dash rather than just on the entire uh, um, uh, surface. So, again, you could take different panels, cover them uh, differently um, to your aesthetic or your texture of preference um, and then again is one of the major advantages of course that we gain with the Puma Dash like this. Well I hope that really helps give you a good overview of all the benefits and how the transformation including a Puma Dash with your Defender custom build uh, would entail and again if you decide to build your own I'll be happy to help of course walk it through through the process and we have in each one of our builds a dedicated design phase in which we really take our time and take a deep dive into all those little elements that we discussed to make sure that all the switches are placed in the right position for you, the right coverings and leather materials are distributed exactly the way that you want them in your car to make it that much more uh, personalized. Uh, my name is John Price, again with ECD, uh, Sales and Design Manager. We'd love to help building your amazing one-on-one -on -one Defender.